Welcome back, welcome back once again to the one and only MICPT.com podcast with the one and only owner of the Made in Compton store. Bone, how are you today? I'm good, yes, sir. <laughs> Wonderful, absolutely. I tell you, I know it's really one thing to talk about you know, various customers, you know, how they are so excited about coming to a Made in Compton store. And they're coming from so many different places and their weather is different too, you know, this year in 2023 at this time of year. And it's really, really neat that they have a variety of attire to, to choose from. So, you know, can you speak to that? Like, how did you, you, like, we know that you have different types of attire, you know, from hoodies to t-shirts and so forth, um, that is applicable to any weather situation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, you know, when it's hot, mm-hmm. we sell more tank tops. When it's cold, we sell more hoodies. <laughs> so, we kind of versatile. We kind of can keep up with the weather in Cali. Because yes. it's still usually, they don't go up under 50 degrees, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. especially getting into the summer months. Right, right. And I tell you, it's some people from some cold states, and they really like those bomber jackets. Like, you know, the Kang around here and the Compton Airport, the one that's similar to Compton Airport, and definitely from 2008, the Flight Crew, the Urban Hustle brand. Oh, that green is really neat, that, that that jogger and hoodie, I tell you. Did, by chance, did you make different colors as well? I didn't hear you. It was breaking up. I'm so sorry. By chance, did you make different colors of the Urban Hustle Flight Crew jogger and hoodie? Uh, yeah. It comes in all colors. Oh, okay. Red, gray, black, navy blue, royal blue. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Because I tell you, boy, uh, people have been loving that green, absolutely. And then you have, yeah, that gray t shirt. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. And then the bummer jacket as well. Uh, the That patch is really neat. You know, and then you can, to think about it too, you know, that 3D embroidery on some of the those joggers too, that's really neat. Now, you were sharing about. Uh, the 3D uh, embroidery on another podcast. Can you share, if this is somebody's first time listening to the podcast, what is it like to, you know, create these different, it's not fonts, but it's different styles of ooh, logos? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, just different logos, mm-hmm. different graphic designs. Mm-hmm. Me and a guy named Dutch, we come up with him. Mm-hmm. I throw ideas at him. He throw designs back at me. And the texture, and then how does that come about? Like, you know, the... Oh, I didn't hear you. You broke up. Mm. Oh, and what about, like, the texture? Like, the embroidery, the other, like... Oh, uh, yeah, 3D embroidery. And the, and the powder, what do you call it? The puffy, the puffy kind, too? Type of... Uh, uh, puffing ink. <sighs> so, um, how do you make decisions on which shirt is going to have which type of texture? Uh, I usually do. Mm-hmm. You just think about it and say, "Oh yeah, this one, this one looks like that." It looks, you yeah, you can visualize like it. Daniel, it was mm-hmm. good for a puffing design because it had a lot of little. Mm. squiggly cues and different things mm. so it kind of looked like ice in the way it rolls like yeast yeah ah, how neat is that absolutely that's pretty cool well with that in mind can you share about another t-shirt design uh, that we used the puffing ink on or just any uh, any story about another t-shirt because I know we talked about the uh, Compton is established in 1888 just talked about the Jack Daniels and then we you know so one because I mean you have many <laughs> different t-shirts uh, a story oh, yeah. about another one the traditional old English 
Mm-hmm. We just start puffing that one too, because people like to feel it when it's puffed. Mm-hmm. Make you rub yourself. Oh, okay, okay. That's pretty neat. You gotta love it, absolutely. It's always new news when you listen to the MICPT.com podcast. Please note that anytime you can always go online at MICPT.com and order and share with the world that they can order and purchase online. But shall we say within the U.S. it'd be great. So, you know, the shipping and handling rates is pretty much the same. Absolutely. So... With that in mind, just to speak about internationally, uh, can you tell us about the Hood Tour? Yeah, uh, it's a Hood Tour that comes through once or twice a day. And they bring tourists, you know, they want to get an uh, official tour of Watts Compton in L.A. Mm-hmm. And it uh, stores like one of the last stops on the tour. Nice, nice. Is and then I know that there's, of course, everybody understands and and so forth about that. There are more items that say Compton than any other city. Now, is it because they go to Watts, the Watts Towers, after they leave the Made in Compton store? That's why you have a T-shirt, different colors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smart. I got you. And then, uh, so how long have you had those t-shirts, the menu board? That's pretty neat. That's that. That's pretty phenomenal. It's a statement to <laughs> view those t-shirts from left to right and around <laughs> the walls in the Made in Compton store. Oh, yeah. We try to come with a menu board to simplify the inventory mm-hmm. to help uh, people find what they're looking for. Mm. And how long have you had that menu board? Uh, since we opened. Okay, okay, that was nice. Great idea, absolutely. Oh, well, part of that came from <laughs> having all those t-shirts in that van, huh? Yeah. Oh, Finally man. being able to spread it out and show them what we got. Mm, nice, nice. And that reminds me about, you have a poster that I was able to see that you have some pictures of some t-shirts in, at the bottom of the poster of uh, and the poster is of some of your CDs and so oh, yeah. mm-hmm, that was pretty neat so you, you were able to advertise some of the designs and I mean but it was only a I'm not sure if it might just only be a handful at the bottom of that poster and I'm like wow Because not only are there 22, I believe, designs on the wall, but there are more designs on the racks. And then there are variances. It's still amazing. I know I've said that on a couple of podcasts, but it's still amazing to see all the different, it's almost like different comic combinations, or I said on another um, podcast, permutations, because it's like, you can make a lot of different combinations of colors, you know, if you change the, you know, change the, the foundation or the solid color and even twist and turn some of the colors, <laughs> like the Clippers uh, t-shirt, and, uh, a t-shirt that's similar to the Clippers. And it's just really neat to see, you know, like that's really fun. Because people have these shoes, shoe game. They shoe game is tight in Compton. <laughs> I'm telling you. And when they come and they looking for that design, that you know the line on their shoe before it get to the sole of the shoe, they want the t-shirt to match that line. So if that line stands out in the t-shirt, that's the one they want. But it could be the same design, but just flip a certain way, and they like nah. Not quiet, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> so I, I mean, I know that keep them coming to the store as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sure does. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's always a different variation because there's always a new shoe combination coming out. That's true too. And I remember there's another podcast that you were telling me about on uh, some on, on Sundays that you know some people just like to stop by and get a new white tee, you know. And one of the guys came in today, 
<laughs> I was like, he was like, yeah, I'm one of them people that, yeah, I can get a white tee every day. He just had been out of town. I think he's a truck driver. So that that's pretty neat. He's like, he's very serious. He said, yeah, while he in town every week, he'll be back. <laughs> like, okay. And I just learned about that. So you have some very, um, you know, excited people and like, you know, some, oh man, they hilarious. They got jokes. They got jokes. They got jokes. So I see why you keep up the humor too, because you have jokes too. And so it's a, it's a good, uh, you know what? I think that's what's part of the main encounter store that keeps the people coming. That enthusiasm. I'm telling you, the customers off the chain, they all should be comedians. I'm telling you, they are hilarious. You know, just great spirited people. So, I, you know, I want to say uh, thank you once again. It's really, really, really great to be a part of the Made in Compton store. It's so much fun. And I know there's some business that you would like to speak to, like Compton in a Box, uh, the summer sales. So, if you want to speak to that, absolutely. That'd be great. Yeah, we have them to sell the shorts and the tank tops till Labor Day. Uh, shorts is ten percent off. Tank tops is ten percent off. And uh, we having a sale on the coffee mugs for Father's Day. And the shot glasses. Oh, and the dad caps. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice, absolutely. Well, thank you very much once again for sharing your <laughs> with all being the owner and having such joy and being very informative uh, for so many people the community the city of Compton and thank you thank you thank you so much so everyone once again have a wonderful wonderful week and please share in my cpt.com podcast and please support anytime online m-i-c-t-t dot com is the website peace